simplifying expressions using double angle identities. So take a look at this first example. Cosine of 2 times sine inverse x. Make sure you are clearly seeing what we have here. Sine inverse x, we've read this many times as the angle whose sine ratio is x. That's an angle, which means this expression here is cosine of double angle. It's cosine of 2 times as much as theta. Well, I can rewrite this then using one of the double angle identities for cosine. Now, that's the one where there were three choices, three possible versions of the identity. So which one should I use? Well, I have the one that only has a cosine in it. I have the one that has both. I have the one that only has a sine. The angle in my problem is expressed using the sine ratio, the inverse sine function. So I'm thinking I should pick this last version, the one that only has sine in it. Well, let's try that and see what happens. I have the left side of the identity. I have cosine 2 theta. Sine inverse x is my theta, my angle. I literally just have to replace this with the right side. So it's the number 1, a minus, a 2. Now be careful here. This part means sine theta, that whole ratio, is being squared. And I'm thinking that I probably should write it like that so that I don't get confused. It's 2 times the sine of my angle. What was my theta again? Oh yeah, it's sine inverse x. That's my theta. All of that is being squared. 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. Take the sine ratio of the angle and square it. You say, I don't think we're making this thing any better. No, we've just made it a ton better because sine and sine inverse, they're inverse functions. They wipe each other out. The sine ratio of the angle whose sine ratio is x is, of course, x. Sine and sine inverse wipe each other out. So this is just 1 minus 2. 2, that entire parentheses is just x. It is being squared, and I'm done. Wow, we have simplified that. It doesn't even have any trig in it anymore. Cosine of that double angle is equal to 1 minus 2x squared. Okay, let's look at the second example and see what happens. It looks pretty similar. Uh, everything's just reversed. Now we have sine of a double angle. Again, this part here is just an angle. This will function as my theta in this problem. Well, I'm going to need to jot down the double angle identity for sine then. We know that sine of 2 theta equals 2 times sine theta times cosine theta. Let's go ahead and replace the left side of that identity, which is what I have here, with the right side. So sine of double angle is equal to 2 times sine angle, my angle is cosine inverse x, times cosine angle, again my angle is cosine inverse x, so we've made a substitution, we've simply replaced the left side with the right side of the identity. Well, does this one clean up as nicely as the last one? Maybe not quite as nicely, but these, these are pieces we can still work out. I have the two. The middle piece there, that's going to take some work. The final piece, cosine and cosine inverse, those just wipe each other out, so that's just going to be an x. For that middle piece, though, sine of cosine inverse x, I'm going to have to draw a picture. We've done this several times. This is a composition of a trig function and an inverse trig function. I want to know the sine ratio of the angle whose cosine ratio is x. We'll assume x is positive in the first quadrant. Let me go ahead and draw a reference triangle picture here. So here's the angle in question. It's the angle whose cosine ratio is x. I can make it look like a ratio by writing it x over 1. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. I'm going to have to figure out that missing side. Again, I think we've done that before. I can call it b. And so I'd have x squared 
Pythagorean theorem plus b squared equals 1 squared. I'm going to end up with b squared equals, let's see, 1 squared is 1. I'll move the x squared to the other side, and then I'll square root each piece. I am in the first quadrant, so I know it's positive. And so I end up with square root of 1 minus x squared. There's no way to simplify that any further. And I want the sine ratio of that angle. Well, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Dividing by 1 doesn't do anything, which means this is just going to be that square root. When you put all the pieces together, we would have 2x in the front. So 2 and then this x times that square root, square root of 1 minus x squared. So maybe not quite as simple as the last example, but still we have simplified it. In fact, we've rewritten it so that it doesn't even involve a trig function. Thanks for watching.